Hello, hamjambo na karibu katika Swahili Kingdom. Hello and welcome to Swahili Kingdom. So my question is, have you ever tried to listen to a Swahili song or a Swahili movie or a Swahili conversation then you find yourself translating it in English before before knowing the meaning? What I mean is um, when you are listening to Swahili, you find yourself that you are translating it in English so that you can understand. So what is happening? Your brain is translating it into the first language that you know before you <coughs> you understand it. Okay, so that is what we are going to talk about in this video. How to stop translating in your head. How to stop translating in your head. Um, that, is the pro that is one of the problems that I've been having for a while, especially when um, I, I, I was learning Spanish because in learning Spanish, I have learned most of the time using grammar and um, <clears throat> compared to the Tagalog language because the Tagalog language I've been learning using the real conversation. I don't know how it went, I, but I started with Tagalog. I don't know why I didn't use grammar in Tagalog. Maybe it's because I had someone to communicate with. So I just... I just ignored the grammar part and I went ahead with uh, learning with uh, conversation, with watching videos. But in Spanish, since I didn't have someone to communicate to before, I started with learning grammar. But after some, times I re after some time, I realized that when I listen to something or a song, my head will translate it to English so that I can understand it. So do you have the same problem? I have talked to several people who are learning uh, other languages, for example, Swahili or Spanish or French, other languages. And they say that, uh, most of them say that they are facing the same problem. And actually some of them think that it is a normal thing. But let me ask a question. In your native language, let's say, for example, your native language is uh, English. Let's say your native language in English is English, I mean, when someone talks to you in English, do you translate that language before you understand? You don't. Like people who are um, Swahili native speakers here, when you talk to them in Swahili, they don't translate it to English before they understand the meaning. So what is, there is something that is, um, there is a thin line that is making you not to go further than the native so what what could be the problem what do you think is the problem if you also know the problem you can comment down below and uh, let's discuss about it because for me i found out that my problem was the problem starts with the the way you are doing things the way you are doing things is the way you are going you are going to get the results so for me um when i started learning spanish as i said i was learning through the grammar so most of the grammar books are translated maybe you see a word or a sentence in spanish then in english so i watched uh, i watched videos on uh, polyglot speaking polyglots and other people who are learning languages who are saying they had the same problem but uh, uh, the problem disappeared because i knew there was a problem when uh, someone speaks to me in my uh, first language I don't translate it to another language before I understand it so I wanted to do the same in Spanish and uh, that is the level that I am at right now and I'm so happy for that last time I took the um, I took a test on which level that I am and I found that I'm at at uh, B2 going to C1 and I'm very proud of that because it has been a journey so I'm at B2 going to C1 that is where I need to have uh, uh, more conversations co more conversations with other people. If you want to take a test, there are many tests on YouTube. Actually, mine I just took on YouTube. I've not uh, taken like a formal test or something. I just took it on YouTube and I believe that is, that is a, a nice test because I believe that teacher of all are Spanish I forgot her name, the teacher of Ola Spanish. She's a very nice teacher. I've been following her for a while. So uh, you can also take your 
test on uh, YouTube. So back to the conversation. Um, the way you are learning. So I was learning via translation. And when I noticed that was the problem that I had, you know, when when you are doing something wrong, you need to find out how you are doing it. So that is where you will get the problem because the results will show you that there is something wrong in how you are doing something. So I found out that my problem was that I was learning I was learning uh, Spanish that is translated with English. And um, I saw videos and those videos were saying when you are learning a language, most of the polyglots were advising that when you are learning a language and uh, you reach to a certain level, when you start A1, of course, you need to translate some words. But when you reach to A2, that is a beginner, but it is a beginner that you can use the, the words of that language. So when you are learning a language, you need to use that language most of the time than now um, translating it you don't need to translate it for example right now i am i've just found a new method of how to acquire how to acquire vocabulary and retain it and i've uh, done a video on that if you want to uh, to see how um how you can do that go watch this video that will be suggested i think it's here or here i'm not sure so for instance this is what i'm doing like all these words are in spanish in spanish except even the dates when i write the date i know it is in spanish everything is in spanish except for these things that i have written in a pencil they are in english but i'm going to rub i just wrote them for closure but i'm going to rub but everything else is in spanish so when you, when i started doing that in the beginning of course it was hard but after a few months, after a few months, I started now listening to videos in Spanish and, uh, and I started getting used to it and the translation finally went away. Now, nowadays, I don't translate when you talk to me. When you speak to me in Spanish, I hear it the way Spaniards hear it. So my mind is not translating. Translate this to English, then non the meaning. Then when you, like when someone talks to you, Maybe in uh, Swahili, you translate the meaning from Swahili to English. Then you make your sentence from English to Swahili so that you can answer. It is such a tedious process, right? Okay, so if you want to answer, just answer. When someone asks you a question in Swahili, just answer directly like a native in Swahili. Go the hard way. Learn in Swahili. Don't use translation. And that is the way that you are going to conquer it okay you need to go the hard way so that you can show it you can do it okay thank you so much i hope this video has helped you um i hope i have the method that i have shared is going to help you it is it is um if if you like to use it to so that you can see how it is going uh, it is going to go with you kindly go ahead and use it because if you use it you won't lose anything if you don't use it you won't lose anything too okay so it is your choice thank you so much asante sana by the way if you like this video and you enjoy my youtube videos or you've learned something from my youtube videos and you like personalized swahili lessons you can reach out to me via this email address below you can comment down below in the comment section or you can reach out to me via my WhatsApp number written below. Asante ni sana tuonane tena. Kwaheri!